It's the most controversial thing somebody's ever told me. The most controversial thing, without a doubt, is Dr. David Buss, who said, Ty, people don't really change. People don't change. Now, if you know who I am, I'm in the self-help industry. That's a shock. It can be the most controversial video you've ever heard. But if you listen closely, closer than most people will, you will hear that there is actually good news in that message. Everybody's out here trying to change and people are frustrated. The second you understand this section, it'll all make sense. You'll realize why society's led you astray, why your parents have probably left you astray, why the education system has led you astray. Humans don't change. But they adapt. Big difference. Now, just a little disclaimer. Does that mean no human ever has changed their personality at all? Obviously not. What it means is one of the most stable traits, according to any smart scientist, Dr. David Buss wrote the textbook for evolutionary psychology for Harvard. The reason you don't change much is it would be unhealthy. From a genetic standpoint, people who change too much implies that their upbringing and their genes don't work right. And we are the product of parents and ancestors who actually worked well enough to have us survive to this generation now. So let me explain this practically. How does this work? It's a little bit like a look. I look like my dad and I look kind of like my mom. I show people baby pictures. I show people my mom. I show people my dad. I show people my face now and people go, oh, you look a lot like your dad, but wait, kind of like your mom. 50-50 genes. I have 50% of my dad's genes, 50% of my mother's. Seems obvious, right? Well, could I change much? Could I change my look? Well, if you get shot, your looks will change. But did you really change? No. You were disfigured. The underlying structure is still there besides what was shot away. In the same way, people's personality can change but not that much. What Dr. Buss told me in 2014 when I first met him, didn't even realize he's like the most preeminent scientist in his field with a PhD in psychometrics from Harvard and probably the most esteemed career of anyone on earth when it comes to the most cutting edge psychology. And he said, look, there's variability. Theoretically, somewhere on earth, there's someone who can change 100% of their personality. And there's other people on a scale of one to 100 that can change like 1%. Okay, most people fall in the middle. They can change just a little bit. It's like you can't change your looks that much, but if you eat a ton of food and gain 300 pounds, of course your looks change. But you didn't really change. You disfigured your core anatomy. Or if you get really skinny, you look different. You didn't really change. You kind of disfigured your natural self. Now, this presents ethical problems. People are, well, if you can't change... Then what if somebody's a murderer? Well, we get to the crux of this video. I'll get right to it. Here's a better strategy. Let's say all your life people have said you're lazy. And you go, well, by golly, I'm going to get disciplined and I'm going to start hustling hard. Um, no, you're not. But I got good news for you. If you adapt, that means change your target goal. Maybe it's like Bill Gates said, on the way to building a $2.7 billion company called Microsoft, he used to say, when I have something important to do, I find a lazy one to do it because they will find a smarter way than the harder working person. So if you tend towards laziness, don't become a construction worker. Go into an industry where somebody who just sits around and lays around and has one good idea a month is valuable. Where might that be? Well, maybe it's a think tank. Maybe it's a think tank. Maybe it's an inventor. You come up with one good invention your whole life and get paid more and people working nine to five, three, four jobs a week. Literally. The smartest or the strongest who survive, it's the most adaptable into the environment, into the environment in which they find themselves. That's Professor Megazin's quote of Dr. Well, not so much doctor, but a man named Darwin. It's not the smartest or strongest who survive. It's not the one who changes their personality. We have a whole society where everybody's going to therapy. Do I think therapy can be important? Sure. It's like going to a massage therapist after you go to a gym is helpful. But people, you don't try to transform your body through a massage. You don't. You have the body that you have. Now, if you have some injuries, 
they can kind of work the knot out. But if you go into transformative, which is what everybody's trying to do, whether it be in self-help, whether it be in therapy, whether it be to deal with people's anxiety levels, I see people talking about psychedelics and, you know, we're going to transform ourselves. You ever met someone on psychedelics? Are they actually different than they were two years ago? No, I have, how many people do I know that have taken ayahuasca? They think they've changed. Now, did their perception of themselves change? Yes. I attribute much of this to the narcissism of humans. The reason this video will be controversial and people will be angry is simple to explain. It's not because this video is not true. It's because narcissism is strong. Narcissism is also an adaptive trait. We've descended from narcissists. Uh, some to the point where you have NPD, extreme levels of narcissism, but in general, humans operate through convictions. And this video will challenge most people's convictions of themselves. And so people who are very into self-help and this and that, and they do, oh, I'm going to do ayahuasca and all this. Um, they find that they feel like they've changed, but others who have a more accurate perception of them are like, no, you got the same basic person personality. If you're an extrovert, you're still kind of extroverted. If you're an introvert, you're still kind of introverted. If you're an ambivert, you're kind of in the middle. If you are a relatively disagreeable person, you're still kind of disagreeable. If you are a relatively mild-mannered, agreeable person, you're still kind of that way. It's meant to be that way. Stop trying to fight God or nature. Now, once again, there are instances where people have tremendous PTSD, have, but that is more, like I said, getting shot. Of course, that alters your appearance. And of course, it should be dealt with. And of course, it should be healed. But don't try to change the person. My dad was stabbed, you know, when he was, uh, when I was born. And, um, you know, it harmed him, but it didn't change the core of who his, what his body looked like. You had to heal it, but you didn't try to transform him into a different guy. You didn't try to make him an Asian guy or a black guy. He was a, my dad's Spanish and Puerto Rican. He was who he was. He needed healing for that acute issue, but he didn't need to be transformed. Stop trying to transform yourself.